Hey guys, so this video is going to be on candling the bearded dragon eggs. So I'm going to be candling the third and fourth clutch, uh, uh, clutches of rubies. So yeah, uh, firstly, I'd just like to comment a bit on these eggs, which are the fourth clutch, the most recent clutch she laid. And I had some doubts about the uh, some of these eggs, and you'll see why in a second. Like some of these eggs look a bit retarded, but yeah, I'm pretty sure they're all fertile. Maybe one isn't, but yeah, really surprised how they turned out. So um, I'll just zoom in uh, these ones here. Okay, so if you have a look. Here, yeah, that focuses. There, you can see this egg is like so weird. It's like got a a massive bulge coming out of it, and this one here's got pretty close to the same thing, but it's not bulging out like that one. Um, and what it is, um, what happened was when I first. Uh, like because I was a bit late to getting these eggs out of the sand because I didn't realize they'd be light they'd been laid um and when I took one of the bad eggs off that were definitely not fertile um yeah it must have weakened the egg in that position where I peeled it off um so yeah it's weakened the egg there but yeah surprisingly it's turned out okay which is awesome um so yeah, it's definitely fertile. Like you can just see how red that thing is, and that's from all the veins with inside the egg, which is really good. So I'll just carefully open this one. I'm actually going to be getting new containers for for like either next season or if uh, Daisy lays or Ruby lays any more clutches, because I'd ra I'd rather keep them all in the same container, so it's a lot easier for them to hatch all together and yeah um, okay so first I'm just gonna go through myself okay so oh actually maybe this one here is I'm having my doubts about um, but it does have a few faint veins in there but, but you, if you can have a look there um, let's zoom in on that you can see how yellow or not yellow but just how bright white kind of, it is yellow, um, and that shows that it's probably unfertile, infertile, and then this one here, um, if you have a look, you can see, hopefully you can see the veins through that one, if not you can see it through that one there, you'll be able to see it a lot better, um, in the... I'll just raise this camera actually. Um, you'll be able to see it a lot better in the the next clutch because they're more developed. This one also could possibly be infertile. It's got more veins than the other one, but it's just got that yellow tinge to it, so not sure about that one. But all the other ones are definitely fertile, so oh sorry, I haven't checked this other one, but yeah, so that is 12 eggs, so 10 are definitely okay, and um, the other two, they should be alright, I'm not sure though. Okay, so now this container, it's only got 4 eggs in there. I'm pretty sure these should all be okay. And the reason I'm not wearing a shirt is because it's bloody hot, so deal with it. Yeah, these are all, oh no, this one. This one is, looks like, it's a good egg, but it's just the same thing as the others. Like, the veins are really faint, and it's just a bright colour. I'll zoom in on it so you can see. Alright, so, it's this one here. So, if you have a look there, hopefully you can see that. If I go through the side there. There you can see. See how it's like a, a yellowy and then this one here, well look at that one. 
See how it's all the bright red veins in there? So, yeah, that just probably means that there just wasn't enough sperm, maybe, or not sure. But, yeah, uh, I'm pretty sure that one is infertile as well. So, But I'll still give it a chance because it still looks like an awesome egg. Just uh, looks like there might not be an embryo in there. Okay, so this is the next clutch. It's one more container. And in this clutch there are, I did have a few eggs um, die. One, two, three, six, and then 10, 14 eggs. So how much are in that one? Uh, 16 in there, but there could be three bad ones. So yeah, I'm pretty sure all these are good, but it's always best to double check. We don't have to, but it's, I don't know, it's fun, I guess. <laughs> um, okay, so, in here, these are all looking nice and plump, straight up, so, yep, it's fertile, fertile, fertile. Yep, all these are good. Okay, so, um, I'll show you these. So, these are older eggs, so they're more developed, and if I just flip that around, and get a better view there. Um, so these, they're like, they're a bit bigger, the eggs in general, and they're, um, the yolk is more like, I, I guess it's like a, you can't even really see the, oh, there's a freaking baby in that one, look. If you can see that moving, look, there's a baby in there. Oh my god, that's so cool. Don't want to sell it too much, but, yeah, so these must be, Oh look, there is in that one as well. I didn't even realise. Wow, look at that one. Yeah, so... Yeah, these eggs are... That's a really good sign if you see them moving. That's awesome. Yes, that's really good. So... Yeah, they must not be too far away. Maybe a few weeks or something. So... Yeah, that's awesome. Hopefully you could see that. If not, I'll... Try and zoom in on it, but you probably saw it, I think. Okay, let's have a look at this one. This one was the one that had, like, four bad eggs in, which I did do a video on. Um, that was a bit sad, though. I, I wasn't... I wasn't even doing a video on it, I just realised, so... Yeah, um, anyway. Okay. Alright, so... These are all looking good. I just have a look myself first. Yep, okay, so they're all good. I'll zoom in on this one here. Um, I noticed a tail, so. Yeah, I'll just move that forward a bit for you. Maybe. All right, so hopefully we'll be able to see this guy move. See that tail there? Just on the side. You see that? That dark line? Looks like a tail. Oh, it's moving, see? Awesome. And then this one. That one's also got a tail. You can't really see though through the plastic. Sorry about that. Um, whoa, look at this one. Alright, so, wait, there's this one, okay. So, wait, which egg is it on the screen? Oh, it's in a really bad position. I'm gonna have to go through the plastic, but if you look through there, hopefully you can see that. It's so cool. Like, you can see that dark spot there along the side of the egg? That's all a baby, that's like its tail. Wow, that's amazing. And this one too, oh. Oh, look at this one. It's fully moving. I hope you guys can see this because it is so cool. Oh, that's awesome. So they're all looking really good. So all, um, how many was it? Four, eight, and wait, how many were in the other container? I think it was four. I think 12, wasn't it? Yeah, 12, 12 good eggs. That's so awesome. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put the um, the older 
Uh, sorry, the newer eggs. Um, sorry, you probably can't see, but the... You can't see. The, um... The, like, fourth clutch, so the more recently laid eggs on the bottom. I'll show you in a sec, actually. Just so I can keep an eye on the... The other one's easier. So I've got those guys... Um, on top now. So I can keep an eye on them, because I reckon they're going to hatch soon. That's awesome. Uh, might want to hurry up and get these enclosures finished. They're not... They're almost finished. They're like... Really, really close. I just got to... Like, we've got the glass and everything, we, and we've got the floors, which are... Like, there, and the ceilings, the wood there. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah. Uh, we're waiting on the lights. There were lights all up. They cost, like... Fourteen hundred dollars, so <laughs> yeah, that's like all the fittings and everything. So yeah, um, so the, uh, we'll try and get those done as soon as we can before these guys hatch. So yeah, we better hurry up with that. Um, so yeah, hopefully those eggs hatch soon, so I can make some cool videos for you guys hatching beer dragons. So yeah, thanks for watching. See ya.